What's up, freaks on the Facebooks and the Instagrams? This is Steve Eckert with Steve Says episode number 92. And today, let me tell you, we're going to talk about, you know, we always like to start with a question. And the question today for you, the question today for you is, do you know the one huge mistake that you're probably making in your own personal development? If you're looking to level up in life, level up in your family, level up in your career, your your business, your finances, looking to make more money, work on your personal development. You can see all these books behind me, all these personal development books. We're going to go over the one mistake that you're probably making, you might be making. We'll give you a second there to log in. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. Join the conversation. Let's talk about it. And you know, on Steve Says... This is not always what you want to hear, but this is going to be what you freaking need to hear. And some people will hate, but most can relate. We are bringing the freaking fire every second of every second. And again, this week we're going to be talking about, are you wasting your time on your personal development? Believe it or not, you can actually be going backwards as you're working on your personal development. You could be digging yourself in a massive hole, and I'm going to give you some clear examples of some you know, private coaching clients of mine, things that some of them are going through, major mistakes that we have to, we're, we're going to talk about. I want to, this is really some high level stuff that we're going to go over today here on Steve Says. Are you wasting your time, your personal development? And are you making this huge mistake as you're trying to level up in all these areas of life? And are you trying to level up in your discipline, your structure, your focus, your family, your fitness, your finances? If you are, you better know this one fucking thing. If you don't pay attention, I'm telling you, pay attention or you will, this will be your downfall when it comes to your growth and your transformation and your leveling up. I'm telling you, pay attention. Stick with me and let's talk about it. And as you know, Steve says this is a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset, guiding you to adapt and overcome to destroy the obstacles preventing your success in your health, your family, your finances, so you can stop being that, stop being a little bitch and get your shit together and start living life on your own freaking terms. And when it comes to all that, it's going to start with what we're talking about today. It's going to start with this one thing that if you do not do and take care of from the beginning. This is going to be the most critical, most crucial part of your own personal personal development program that we're going to get into. Steve says, as you know, is all about the mind, the body, and then your business. In that order, you got to have your shit together here first before you can have your shit together here. And then that's going to be the force multiplier in your business or, or whatever other area of life. That's what it's all about. It's about having a role model mindset, how to fucking operate to dominate in your discipline, your energy, your confidence, action, and being your freak self. So let's get into it. Let's dive into it this week. And so personal development and, and this role model mindset that we're talking about. Let, let me, let's, before we get into that one critical thing, I'm gonna make you fucking wait for this one, but you need to because we need to, we need to get to it. We need to set the stage for it. And, and if you're getting it wrong, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you will fucking fail in your personal development program. You'll fail at it. You will fail. You will go, you will end up being much further backwards, no matter how much time and money, money and effort and, and even coaching. I know people who have spent $50,000 on coaching, great high level coaching, but neglected this one fucking area that we're going to talk about. You need to know this stuff. But before we get to that, we need to talk about influence. And persuasion, because this kind of sets a table for what we're going to be talking about. Influence and persuasion. Very different freaking things. People think that they're the exact same thing. To me, you know we have a Steve Says peak freak way of talking about everything. So influence and persuasion are, yeah, are they similar? Sure, in a way. They're both partners in crime. Think of influence and persuasion as, think of it as, let's say, show and tell. Think of influence as show, persuasion as tell. Think of influence and persuasion as passive and active. Influence being passive, persuasion being active. Not saying you don't have to, you shouldn't be doing influence. Of course, passive is not always a bad thing. People think passive is bad, like it means you're being lazy or passive aggressive. There are passive ways 
And you can even lead and teach. That's what influence is. Show and tell. So let's first talk about influence. What is influence? Influence is having an impact. Is it being impactful on people? Having an effect on people. The official definition of, of, of influence is the action or process of producing effects on the actions, behaviors, and opinion of others. That's what it's about. What's up, Vikram? Vikram is in there, an, an, another high performance coach right there. And Vikram, we're talking about, and, and you should pay attention to this, Vikram. This is something that is going to help you and going to help all of your coaching clients. This one critical fucking mistake people are making in their personal development. So stay tuned. We're going to get to that. First, we're talking about influence and persuasion, setting the table for what we're about to talk about. Pamela Hawkins over on the Instagrams. What's going on? So influence. And, and you know, influence also even has in the dictionary, it has an astrology. I'm not into astrology and all that foo-foo shit. You know that. But has it actually has an astrology definition. They, they say the radiation of an ethereal fluid from the stars regarded as affecting human actions and destinies. It sounds all woo-woo, but if you think about it, that's what fucking influence is right there. A radiation of an ether- ethereal, I don't even know how to say the fucking word, ethereal fluid from the stars, from the world, from the universe, however you want to talk about it, regarded as affecting human actions and destinies. Influence is also a verb, a verb to move or impel a person to some action. So you could see why it's passive. It's passive. It's not active. It's impelling them. It's getting them to think about this and, and be passive and, sh- and show someone how to act. Influence is you acting in a certain way, showing someone how to act, leading by example, right? That's fucking influence. That's what influence is. It is having an effect. It's having an effect. It's impacting people. It's impacting impacting people's actions and behaviors and opinions just by you passively acting a certain way and being infectious in your influence. Influence should be infectious. Like that radiation of the ethereal fluid. I fucking love that. The radiation of ethereal fluid. That's going to be my new saying. Like that's fucking influence right there. From the stars regarded as affecting human actions and destinies. Now let's talk about persuasion or to persuade someone. To persuade someone is actually being, that's why I said active. Influence is passive. Persuasion is active. Influence is show, showing them what it is. Persuade is actually telling, like straightforward, a little more direct, a little more in your face. Persuade is to advise someone or sway someone or urge someone on. Pushing and pressuring a little more. Persuasive. It's uh, to, to prevail, to, to do something by advising or urging someone, to induce induce behavior on someone by appealing to reason or understanding or to convince someone. That's, that's persuasion. So we have influence and persuasion, very addictive, act, different, active, passive, freaking show and tell. And this is going to lead to the big fucking mistake we're talking about. Let's go a little deeper on influence first, though. Influence. What really is influence? If it's passive, it's not persuading, it's not telling them, it's showing them. Really, to me, the ultimate way of showing someone is for someone to watch you and want to emulate you. And when they want to emulate you, what is it? It teaches them how to fucking think. It teaches them how to act act in certain situations, but really teach them how to think for themselves but using you as an example to emulate. That's fucking influence. Think about it. Who are the most positive influences in your life? And why did they have so much influence on you? And what did they do that influenced you so much? That's passive stuff. You just saw someone, like, wow, that's a badass motherfucker. I want to be just like that dude. What is it that they did that influenced you so much? What is it that, that they, how do they think? How do they operate? That's what influence is. You're being influenced by the way someone else thinks, teaching you, in effect, how to think. Teaching you how to strategize. That's what you need to think about. Influence is how you want people to be thinking. Persuasion is more telling. And think about like selling almost is persuasion. Influence, 
You can, per, you can sell with influence by the way you're acting and the way you're operating. That can sell, but really selling, like closing the deal is going to be persuasion. You need both. You need both equally. We're not saying one is better than the other or they're, they're just different. They're two pieces of the fucking puzzle of this personal development that you're looking for to be that role model to your family, to your kids, to your neighbors, to the fucking stranger in the grocery store. You should be influencing and persuading everyone, getting them, teaching them how to think, how to act. And being able to persuade people to your way of thinking. To use your product, your service. To get your kids to want to look at you as a role model and and your son want to become the man that you are. Your daughter one day want to marry the type of man you are if you let her out of the house before she's 30 or 40 years old. That's what influence and persuasion is. Think about it. Think about it. That's what it is. It's really influence. Teaching them how to think. Leading someone with your actions to help them come up with an answer. Without telling. You're not even persuading. You're influencing. Lead them to come up with the answer. Maybe a little nudge. Saying things like, well, did you ever think about it this way? Or what do you think about this? Sparking that stuff in their head. And this is personal development. This is, this is personal development where it all starts. With influence and persuasion. You need to have someone that influences you. And the best way to learn something is to teach it. So then you need to pay it forward and influence the people around you. That's the way you need to think about it. Influence and persuade... It, it, Personal development and leadership is influence and persuasion. It's challenging people is influence and persuasion. That's leadership. Leadership is challenging people. That's one of the greatest things a leader should actively do is fucking challenge your people. Challenge them to reach goals. Challenge them to hold themselves accountable. Challenge them to fucking motivate themselves. Challenge them to generate their own energy. Asking them to rise up. To see who the fuck they are. What the fuck are they made of? Challenge them to that shit. Being a leader is not just about being empathetic and sharing the vision. That's not just all leadership is. Leadership is, is teaching someone how to fucking think and then challenging that motherfucker. Teaching them how to think with influence by influencing them. Challenge them with persuasion. It takes guts to, to get people to, to show people how to come out of their comfort zone. To push them. It takes guts and, and persuasion to set some fucking deadlines and push and pressure someone to meet or exceed that deadline. That's what kind of challenge we're talking about here. Challenge them to step it up, to level up. And this is all going to come back full circle to the, the main point of this, the one mistake you're probably making in your own personal development. We're going to get to that. And this is all tying together. We're getting closer and closer to that. You also need to challenge them in their relationships with their other teammates. Challenge them in building a culture in both the professional world, the personal world. Having a certain culture at home, in the office. Challenge them in their personal relationships, how they treat each other in the office. How they treat each other at home. Challenge them to be fucking creative. I can't, like, I shouldn't, whatever, step st- I shouldn't be the one, t- t- you, you shouldn't, you, you need to challenge people to step the fuck up and come up with their own ideas and create. You shouldn't have to give everyone the ideas. You can influence them. By the way, you act to spark some ideas in the head, teach them how to think. But you can't just give everyone the fucking answer to the test every time. This ain't fucking Jeopardy. Oh no, Jeopardy has the question. Whatever. You know what I mean. Challenge them to be creative. Challenge them to be fucking creative. To improve in all areas of life, in their family, in their personal relationships. Challenge them to develop stronger relationships. Challenge them to create more shit. Be more creative. Challenge them on creating and connecting. This is influence and persuasion. This is what it's all about. This is leadership. This is fucking personal development. But you're going to fuck all this up if you don't do it the right way. And all this stuff is kind of reverse engineering what we're getting at. We're getting, we're starting with what to do. And we're going to talk about what the mistake is here in a second. Challenge people to contribute to moving the fucking needle. Challenge them to stop being distracted by every little fucking thing. Challenge them to focus on the shit that matters. The money making activities that move the fucking needle towards progress in the business. That's what you need to challenge people for in the, in the company. Stop wasting fucking time. Stop doing busy work. Challenge them to do more. To do more. To contribute even more. To contribute better. In all areas of fucking life. Challenge them. And let me tell you, this is what the big mistake is. So let's just recap this real quick. We kind of reverse engineer that. Influence is passive. Influence is passive. 
Persuasion is active. Influence is showing someone how to act. Persuade is maybe a little more push, a little more pressure, telling them how to act or telling someone what they need, what they need to do. But both are just teaching someone, being a leader and helping someone work in their personal development, teaching someone how to fucking think, how to think for themselves. Challenging someone to step up, to level up, because here is the number one fucking mistake in your personal development, in your team building in the office, in making more money, and at home is where this comes shows in the biggest part. The biggest problem at home is this one thing right here. Here it is. Here it fucking is. All that babbling to say this. If you are working on your personal development, and the people around you, whether in the office or in your business, and it's your team, your employees, your business partners, whether it's your leaders, your subordinates, your peers in the office, or at home, if it's your fucking spouse or your partner or your goat or whatever the fuck you're into, and, and even your kids, even your kids to an extent, of course, it's going to be a little bit different of a situation, but it is a little bit. If you are leveling up, let's say, let's say you have, you're in a, in a nice, deep, committed relationship with a, your fucking goat, and it's you here and your goat right here, right? You have this great relationship right here. This is you're meeting each other right where you are. You start getting this burning fucking fire in your belly, knowing you know what I'm meant for so much more. You're going to hire a one-on-one a, a -on -one peak performance accountability coaching like we do here with Operate to Dominate Coaching. Or you're going to do something like join the project, 75-hour personal development program for men to level up in your family, your fitness, your finances, to level up in business and life. So you start this personal, or you're even just reading a fucking book. Let me tell you, one book sometimes can change your fucking life. One sentence in a book could change your life. That's why you need to think about this. Be more fucking open-minded. So let's go back to this scenario. There's you here. There's your fucking goat. Fucking happily ever after, right? Until you get that burning sensation in your belly that you need to start leveling up. So you read a, a personal development book. You read some Napoleon Hill. Bam. Then you read some sales stuff and you want to learn how to sell more and persuade more. You read some Grant Cardone sales stuff. Bam. You want to do some more, you lead, read some leadership stuff, some Navy SEAL leadership books. Bam. You start leveling up. Your fucking goat is sitting at home watching motherfucking Beavis and Butthead reruns on MTV or binge watch some dumbass fucking series on Netflix eating some popcorn and, and ice cream. And you start leveling up more and more and more. Let me tell you something. There's a gap that you're building. If that gap, I call it the 45% rule. It's probably even less than that. You're here. Once you get to even about a 20% incline, because there's a ramp, right? Think of that, a dot here and a dot here. And that dot keeps going. Once you get to 20%, you're in fucking trouble. You're now disconnected. You're disconnected. Once that gap gets up to a 45 degree angle, it's almost insurmountable. Because you could try to pull that person up that 45 degree slant as much as you can. They could try to climb up as much as you can, but it's such a steep hill that all they're gonna do is take a couple steps up and slide back down. They're gonna take a couple steps up, slide at 20%. It's gonna take some fucking work, but it can happen 45% and greater. You're fucked, you're done. There's pretty much no coming back from 45% or greater. It's a very slim chance that you could come back from 45 deg degree. Once it gets even more than that, forget it, you're fucked. 45%. Gap in the in, in where your development is and your fucking special little goat bunny. A bigger gap than that, or even 45%, and, and even starting at 20%. This is gonna make you have to ask yourself this question. All right, I've done all this work. It's taken so much effort to get to this fucking level of personal development I at. Now, this this goat, my, my goat's down here. Sure, I really like my goat, but do I want to commit? the time, the energy, the fucking effort to now help this goat level up when there's such a big fucking disconnect and 99.99999% of the motherfucking time, the answer is going to be no and you need to cut the motherfucking goat off 
And guess what? It's not the GOAT's fault. It's your fucking fault because you failed to do this one thing. We still haven't even got to the one thing yet. You failed to do this one fucking thing. You went on this personal development journey. You started reading books and going to seminars and workshops and online courses. You hired a a one-on-one coach. You did the project. You're now doing additional coaching on top of that. You're getting in the best shape of your life. You're fucking smarter than ever, but you didn't take your goat along for the motherfucking ride with you. There is the number one mistake in your personal development. You didn't take the fucking goat along for the ride. And now 20%, You can recover 20%. It's going to take some fucking work. 45%. You probably don't have the time, the energy, or the patience at that point anymore. It's just too big of a difference. You started here. You were with your little fucking goat, and you're speaking the same language. You're saying bah, bah, bah to each other in fucking goat language. Guess what? You started developing more and more and more and more. You're up here. You're up here. Now you're speaking some whole different fucking... You're speaking like horse language or fucking Russian. And your goat's still down here fucking bad and hey, whatever the fuck a goat does. And you don't even, you can't even speak anymore. There becomes resentment. There becomes almost hatred for not taking the goat along for the ride with you. Now, if you're a dumbass motherfucker, you don't get what I'm saying here. And I've seen this many times in personal, people's personal relationships with their spouse, with their girlfriend or whatever, where literally it, the gap just got too big. And it's not the goat's fault. It's the fucking Horse up here that went from a goat into a horse. Went from a donkey to a fucking unicorn. It's their fucking fault for not taking the goat along for the ride. Say, listen, motherfucker, you're not a goat anymore. I'm going to help you. Let's do this together. And it can't be like, because look, once you get up there, right? And you're at this distant, different level and your, your spouse, your partner, your fucking goat is down here. You know what's going to happen? You're going to be like, hey, you're fucking stupid. You need to read this book or or whatever. We we, we can't hang out anymore because you're not reading this book. You're not doing this personal development program. Go read this book. Or go on this, go on this, uh, go to this seminar. You need to go go to this seminar. Because I'm better than you. I'm smarter than you. I'm so much higher than you. I'm much more developed than you. That approach will get you nowhere and makes you an even bigger dick than you were to start with for not taking them along. So first you didn't take them along for a ride. It's your fault. Now you're going to approach it the wrong way. And it's your fault. The only way to then even get them to come up to you. You cannot. I'm going to repeat this. You cannot lower your standards to their level at that point. It can't be done. You're not going to go fucking backwards and I won't allow it. What you can do is your due diligence to make up for your fucking errors and your mistakes and your fucked up ways that you went off on this ride without them. And you can, I'm not going to say meet them where they are, but you can help Bring them up and it takes a lot of work and fucking effort to at least lower that gap less than 20%. It don't need to be perfect. It probably never will be perfect because you're fucking hungry. You're motivated to just keep leveling up in your personal development. It'll never be the same. It'll, it'll probably never be equal. Never know. Maybe it will be. Maybe that goat fucking blows you out the water and is like, listen, motherfucker, step up your game. Or I'm going to bat your ass out of here. Maybe that's going to happen. But the point is you need to take the goat along for the fucking ride with you. That is the biggest mistake in personal development. I've seen more relationships crushed because of that than almost almost anything else. At least, you know, relationships that were seemed quality, whatever. Take them along for the ride. And if you realize the gap has gotten bigger than 20%, you better put in the fucking work. Make every effort, due diligence to, to take them, bring them back into the game. You can't just start being the, 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 the teacher and the dictator and say, hey, do this, do that, do this, stop watching Netflix. No, 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 you have to do it together. Hey, I saw, I, look at this awesome book that I just found. I've got two copies of it. Why don't we both read it and talk about it? Might be a book you already read. That's the way you do shit together. And I'm going on this trip to San Diego to this three-day seminar. It's going to be freaking awesome. It's going to be whatever. In between, we're going to do some workouts and this and that. Why don't you come along for the ride? Let's do it. On me. That's how you take some. It's your fucking job now to close that gap. Not theirs. You left them there. You're speaking a different fucking language. You stopped speaking the language that you used to speak. You left the fucking language. You didn't go and tell someone you're going to speak Russian while they're down here still speaking English. It's your fucking job. Now, ask yourself, do you want to go through that effort? And if not, you need to cut the goat loose and learn from your fucking mistakes and not make that mistake again. 
That's what it is. The number one fucking mistake is not taking your people along for the ride with you. And this also goes in the office with your team. You start developing and learning. You're the owner. You're the CEO. You're the top motherfucking dog. Mr. Big Billy Badass, the, the, the owner of the company. You want to get smarter. You want to learn everything. You need to learn sales and marketing, all kinds of strategies and tactics to grow and scale your business, to build generational wealth for your family. And you're thinking on such a new high level. Boom. You're not down in the weeds anymore. You're not carrying the heavy load. You're not getting your fingernails dirty. You're thinking on a whole fucking different level. You're thinking massive global fucking domination. And you forget that you have people on your team, maybe even business partners that you were here with. That you didn't take along for the ride. And let me tell you something. Not everyone is going to be willing to go along for the ride. You might try to take people along for the ride from here. And you're like, hey, I'm here. Are you coming? Like, ah, now nah, I'm going to hang down here. All right, I'm back here. Are you coming? Let's do this together. And you do your due diligence and they don't come along for the ride. Cut the motherfucker off sooner rather than later. That's what you need to do. That's even in the beginning stage. Now that you know this, if you're starting to develop and you're getting resistance and you're really trying and doing your due diligence to take them along for the ride with you and they're not willing to do it, they got to fucking go. And that goes in for your business. That goes in your personal life. Listen, I've had businesses where I did take people along for it. Like literally everything I learned, I would pour into people in the business. And only a small percentage of the people in the business wanted to go along for the ride. And the others, I've made mistake of letting them stay there when they should have fucking been gone a long time ago. Because you cannot lower your standards and expectations. You need to keep fucking growing. You need to grow and fucking skyrocket. But you need to bring them along for the ride or there'll be resentment. You won't be speaking the same language and you will fucking fail and you'll be miserable. Even though you have all this coaching and guidance and personal development and leveling up, you'll be fucked up when you're up there. You'll be fucked up. Take them along for the ride. Make it happen. And that is the number one mistake that you're making. So make it happen. If you need any more help on actually how to do that, there are specific strategies and tactics you could do to take your team along for the ride, to take your goat and your fucking partner along for the ride. So if you need help with any of this stuff, with the leadership, the communication, this teamwork that we're talking about, this personal development, it all starts in your fucking head, the mind, the body, the fucking business in that fucking order. Send me your private message. Let's talk about, let's see if one-on-one peak performance accountability coaching is for you. Let's also talk about the project for men. If you want the most immersive, the most intensive personal development program in person available in the whole fucking world, send me a message. Let's get an interview. See if you're a good fit to join the lifelong, ongoing brotherhood of modern-day knights in the project. So send me a message. I will talk to you later. Bring your people along for the motherfucking ride, and you will take over the fucking world. I guarantee it. So let me know if you have any questions, comments. If you want to talk about any private coaching or the project, send me a message. I will talk to you later. And in case no one told you yet, today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.